Hello, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe Jewell, and today we're talking about Billie Eilish calling out Taylor Swift fans. Let's get into it. So if you missed the news over the weekend, there was a bit of a kerfuffle on the internet between Billie Eilish and Swifties over comments that Billie made in an interview with Billboard magazine about artists who are very wasteful when it comes to the vinyls and the additional albums that they put out whenever they put out a new record. If you missed the story, don't worry. I'll explain it all. So last week, an interview with Billie Eilish was released in which Billie called out artists, none by name, she never named anybody, but she called out artists for being wasteful when it comes to creating different vinyls for their albums. If you don't know, a lot of artists, in order to increase their album sales, in order to make it seem like they've sold lots and lots and lots of albums, because the music industry has changed a lot over the course of the last I mean, very, I mean, just in a a matter of like five or six years, it's changed so much. But if you compare album sales today to album sales, even like in the early 2000s, mid 2000s, it's so different because of streaming. Streaming obviously makes it a lot easier for people to access music, but people are not buying actual physical albums anymore. And obviously when you stream an album, that does count to an album sale. I think there's like a certain number that has to be reached in order for it to count as a as an album, but people are, are are not going out and buying physical albums because people can just listen to the album on their phone. So in order to increase those album sales, a lot of artists are putting out vinyl records, which are having definitely a resurgence over the last handful of years. People love vinyls. People love buying them, playing them. And so different artists like Taylor Swift will put out four or five, even more than that, versions of their vinyls with an additional song, different reasons, different incentives for people to go out and buy not just one vinyl, but multiple vinyls. Um, We're even seeing that with Taylor's newest album that's coming out in a couple of weeks. She's putting out multiple versions of her album with an additional song on every single album so that if you want to hear all the the four or five extra songs, you're going to have to buy the four or five albums as a whole. So anyway, this is the quote that Billy gave to Billboard magazine. Quote, we live in this day and age where for some reason it's very important to some artists to make all sorts of different vinyl and packaging, which ups the sales and ups the, and ups the numbers and gets them more money and gets them more dot, 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 dot. I can't even express to you how wasteful, it, how wasteful it is. It is right in front of our faces and people are just getting away with it left and right. And I find it really frustrating as somebody who really goes out of my way to be sustainable and do the best that I can and try to involve everybody in my team in being sustainable. And then it's some of the biggest artists in the world making effing 40 different vinyl packages and that have a different unique thing just to get you to keep buying more. So again, didn't call out anybody specifically by name, but I think it's hard to not think that she's calling out Taylor Swift because, well, one, Taylor is one of the biggest artists in the world. And two, Taylor is kind of known for having these multiple vinyls and multiple versions of her of her album. So as to be expected, once this article came out, the Swifties flooded the comment section of Billy's social media posts. They were tweeting all these different things. And well, I'll get to what, to what B- Billy said, and then we can kind of get into how I feel about it or my opinion on it. But anyway, over the weekend, because of all the hate that she was getting, Billy took to her Instagram stories and uh, shared this statement. She said, quote, okay, so it would be so awesome if people would stop putting words in my mouth and actually read what I said in that Billboard article. These are industry-wide systemic issues when it comes to variants. So many artists release them, including me, which I clearly state in the article. The climate crisis is now, and it's about all of us being part of the problem and trying to do better. So I think it is true because they they even mentioned in the original article that Billy has had multiple vinyls in the past and that she's somebody who has done this before. Um, I think on one hand, I feel like when you're an artist like Billie Eilish and you make a statement like that, where you are not directly calling somebody out and saying a person by name, but you are saying it's one of the biggest artists in the world and it's and and you're making a pointed statement about somebody who puts out a lot of vinyls. I think you can't be surprised that people make assumptions about what you said um, 
because while you didn't say somebody directly, it's it's hard to not think that's who you're talking about, if that makes sense. Um, I also think too, though, there's a lot of fans of any artist who have a hard time admitting when their favorite artist does something wrong or does something that they shouldn't do. Like they they struggle with admitting like, yeah, you know what, Taylor maybe shouldn't, shouldn't have to put out four different versions of an album. Um, does she really need to increase her album sales that much? Is it really that important to her? And Clearly, it, it is important to her, but I think it's okay to be a fan of Taylor Swift and to also admit that maybe she shouldn't be doing this because Billy's right. It is wasteful, um, and I don't know that people need to be buying four or five different versions of the same album just to get like the one additional song. Um, I do think it's wasteful, and it's consumerism at its finest. So I kind of like I feel for both sides. I think Billy. <laughs> I, I I actually think I actually think it would have been not cooler, but I, I would have liked it if Billy had just like stuck by what she said and didn't didn't feel the need to like come back with like a Instagram story statement if she was just like, yeah, I said what I said and I stand by it. Um because she did she she knew what she was saying, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um so I don't know. I don't think it's like there's some big feud and she hates Taylor Swift, but I think it's a it's an important thing to talk about. And um and I'm not somebody like I, I've never been the person to buy up multiple vinyls um, because the the truth is at some point, even if it's a few months down the road, all those extra songs get put on streaming eventually and you get to hear them. Um, but I think it's an important conversation to have. And I think that, um, you know, if it's important to you, I think it's good to speak up about, speak up about it. So that's kind of that on, on that. And uh, we'll see if there's any new developments about this in the future. Um, okay, going on to a, a bit of a rumor more than a piece of news, but Swifties are trying to figure out whether or not Taylor and Travis are going to be attending the iHeart Radio Award, which are tonight, April 1st, in Los Angeles. Now, a lot of Swifties are speculating about this, thinking that this could be the first award show that Taylor and Travis attend together. While this seems likely, it seems like it could happen. Taylor's up for a number of awards. Apparently, Taylor has been spotted in Nashville over the weekend, and she's reportedly in Philadelphia right now with Travis, maybe visiting Kylie and Jason Kelsey. Who knows? Um, so will she make it back? Will they make it back to LA in time for the award show? I guess we'll wait to find out and see. Um but this doesn't seem this doesn't seem like an award show that Taylor feels like she ha- would have to be at by by any means though i do wonder if now that we're in april we're just we're less than 3 weeks away from her new album coming out i could see her kind of like wanting to start the press tour of sorts and like getting herself out there and kind of like talking about it and just kind of like getting people excited about this new album. Um, So we'll have to wait and see, but I would love to know in the comments if you think that they're going to go to the award show. And if they are going to go, will they walk the red carpet together? My guess is no. My guess is they'll just like maybe individually walk it and then sit together in the, in the actual room. We'll find out and see. Um, But yeah, if they are there, we'll definitely talk about that tomorrow because that will be a huge, a huge story to to discuss. Um, So yeah, that is it for today's show. Again, please let me know in the comments your thoughts on the Billie Eilish, Taylor Swift of it all, because I'm very curious to know what you guys think. Um, As I said, let me know if you think Taylor and Travis are going to go to the award show uh, and just any other Taylor thoughts that come into your brain. Please share them. I love reading all the comments. It's my favorite part of doing this. Um, Subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.